hi guys and welcome back to my channel today I have a haul for you um it's <laughs> I bought a lot of th things before I went to London uh, there will be a London haul up as well um, but this is kind of <laughs> pre London um, I'm thinking on, of going on a no buy from January actually because I have so much um, but yeah if you want to see uh, my latest purchases then please keep on watching first off I ordered four shower gels from Lush from Lush's website um, I saw that they were having a uh, their Christmas and Halloween scents out so I bought uh, two of the Christmas scents and two of the Halloween scents um, first we have this Cinders um, and this is a Brazilian orange oil, ethereal almond oil, um, shower cream. Um, it's in Swedish, so I'm trying to translate. Um, it's it smells like candy. It smells really good. Um, not that sweet, but really good. So that was the cinders. Uh, then I saw a really interesting one. This is called ectoplasm. And it's a neon yellow. Uh, and it's grapefruit and mandarin. Uh, and it smells like mandarin. Uh, it smells really um, sour, if you can say that but really good so I'm looking forward to using that as well then I've mentioned before that I don't like the snow fairy scent but I bought a little bottle of it um, this is their Christmas scent I do like the smell of it but I'm more of a I'm more I like more heavy scents now uh, but this smells like candy and it, it has like blue shimmer <laughs> in the bottle um, then I have never seen this before. I bought the shower cream in Sleepy. And this is a lavender. And uh, it really smells like lavender. This is supposed to be the one that smells like Twilight. And I I wanted to get a hold of Twilight for a long time, but I don't have it in, in a shower cream. So about Sleepy instead. Um, so those are my latest Lush purchases. Uh, then I accidentally walked by Rituals store and saw that they have new limited edition stuff. So I bought uh, the Ritual of Yalda Wishful Foaming Shower Gel. And uh, you know I love these shower gels. This is pomegranate and watermelon. Um, I really like the bottle. It's It's really pretty with the... Yeah. Um. So um. Yeah. Another shower cream. Um. Then I bought a new perfume. Or this is an a eau de toilette from Elizabeth Arden, and this is the white tea one. Um. It smells really good. I love this scent. Uh. It has for me. It has a bit of a masculine scent. Um. So yeah. Really love this. Then I walked by an H&M store and they had a sale, so I bought one nail polish and it's what I'm wearing on my nails. This is uh, Olive Twist and it's an ugly green, but I love the color. H&M um, has, has one of my favorite formulas. Um, I bought six nail polishes for my sister for her birthday and I stumbled across this so I had to buy it for myself. Did I mention I need to go on a no-buy? Uh, then I ordered some nail polishes of Moonshine Manny. Me and my sister did a co-order. So I have her polishes here as well, but I'm not going to show you them. Uh, but I bought five polishes. Um, first, I really wanted her neon polishes inspired by Avicii songs. Uh, you know, I'm from Sweden and Avicii was from Sweden. So the yellow one is called I Could Be The One. And this is a bright yellow neon with... Um, holographic specks in there 
And then we have the green one which is called Addicted to You and it's a bright uh, neon green and you can see the holographic uh, flakies. Or not holographic, duochrome. Duochrome! Or whatever. It's so pretty. Um, then I bought Pools of Agonar which is a darker green with the same kind of flecks but these are orange. This looks really pretty on the website and it looks really pretty in person as well. Uh, Noggen Fogger Elixir. This is a more bluish green, teal green. With some holographic and duochrome, I think. I'm bad at describing, but it's really pretty. And then I bought more Cowbell. This is a brown gold polish with uh, lots of glitters in it. I I thought this would be perfect for fall. I love Moonshine Manny. I love watching her YouTube videos. Um, I love the brand. So I knew I had to have them. Um, then, actually in store in Sweden, I found this Revolution Sof X Highlighter Palette. And I know that this has been out for a really long time. It was her first collab, I think. Sof is a uh, YouTuber here on YouTube uh, that has done uh, three collabs with Makeup Revolution or Revolution as they are called now. This is her highlighting palette. Um, I thought to myself that I didn't need any more highlights but I do love Softa's nails and I want to support her and um, it was really cheap and um, I will use it so um, I've actually swatched it and I love the swatches. Let me know if you want me to use it in a look. Then I've been really into indie makeup. I've been looking into buying more indie makeup but I'm, I'm thinking of going on a no buy next year uh, for at least three months. But uh, I ordered two stuff from Nevin Cosmetics. First we have the uh, Daydream eyeshadow palette and this is how the packaging looks like. And you have a picture on the back side of the palette and this is how the palette looks like and you open it like that it has 12 shades um, they do not test on animals and I thought this and it has a mirror as well I thought this looked really interesting I've seen people use this on YouTube and I'm looking forward to using it uh, on my eyes this yellow shade looks really pretty in pan so I'm looking forward to trying this on my eyes as well then I was really intrigued and really wanted to buy this one. This is the Nevin Cosmetics Starlight Fantasy Palette. And this is a big highlighting palette. So it comes like this. And as you can see it's really big. Um, it comes with a plastic sheet that I'm not no, now going to throw away. It has four really big highlighters. And I've swatched them and they look absolutely stunning. Um, we have Fairy Dust, Moon Goddess, Silver Fox and Secret Love. And actually uh, Fairy Dust is green. Uh, Moon Goddess is silver. Should I just swatch them for you? Yeah, I'll swatch them for you. So as you can see, one is tinting on green, one is tinting on purple. This is the silver one and this is the white one. I mean, can you look at that pigmentation? I still have some on my fingers as well. I'm dying to try this. I think I will film a video with it, with it tomorrow. And you can actually pop them out and put them in another pan if you want to. But yeah, those were all the things I bought before London. Also, there are two nail polish packages that will be arriving within a week or two. Uh, I will show you that as well. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you want to see more in depth and please subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and until I make another video you guys please take care. Bye!